We were first introduced to Keisha Knight Polium when she played the beloved character Rudy Huxtable. She's one of the few child stars who made a smooth transition from adolescence to adulthood, but that doesn't mean she hasn't faced some personal struggles. Here's the truth about her dating history. After appearing in various television shows and movies, Keisha took a break from the limelight to live a normal life. In an issue of People magazine, it was revealed that by the time she turned 21, she had purchased her own townhome in Atlanta, drove a Jaguar, and was finishing up her sociology degree at Spelman College. She also told the magazine she had a boyfriend, although she refused to state his name. Keisha did have this to say though, my parents told me that anyone I choose to be with should treat me like a princess. It's unclear what happened with that relationship, but in 2007, she began dating Atlanta entrepreneur Kasim Penn. Two years later, not only were they still an item, Kasim was also her business partner. They decided to put their love on display by starring in their own reality show on the Oxygen Network entitled Keisha and Kasim. According to Today.com, Keisha and her boyfriend were living together in his home and cameras were set to explore what it was like to be young, rich, single, and cohabitating. The show never made it on air. She and Kasim broke up sometime around 2010. In 2011, in an interview with Vibe magazine, Keisha stated that she and Kasim decided not to move forward with the reality show and she was no longer interested in putting her personal life on television. She ended the interview by saying she wished Kasim the best, but it just wasn't meant to be. In August 2013, she moved on with television and radio personality Big Tigger. They were hesitant to go public with their relationship, but Keisha could no longer keep the love she had for her boo to herself. A few months after dating rumors began circulating, she shared an image of some gifts Tigger had purchased for her. In December 2013, there were rumors the couple had gotten engaged. Of course, neither of them spoke up to confirm the allegation. They continued popping up at different Atlanta hotspots together, so everyone assumed their relationship was still on the right track. On December 31st, 2016, Keisha got engaged during a New Year's Eve party at her home. She shared a photo of herself and her new fiance sharing a kiss. Everyone assumed Big Tigger was the husband-to-be, and we were all so excited for them. After Us Weekly ran a story about the engagement and included a picture of Keisha and Tigger in the headline, Tigger decided to set the record straight during a segment on his V103 radio show. He said he had been receiving tweets and messages from his friends to congratulate him on his engagement. But Tigger made it clear, I am not, nor have I ever been, engaged, ever. The US Weekly Report had the correct news, but the wrong photo. So who was the man in Keisha's engagement photo? And when did she and Tigger break up? Tigger said on air, the details about our breakup, the who, what, when, where, why, etc., is our business exclusively and will remain so. He also wished Keisha and her new fiance the best of luck. The cat was out of the bag when Madame Noir reported Keisha and Tigger were spotted together just nine months before her engagement announcement. They quietly went their separate ways in 2015, and she quickly moved on with former NFL player Ed Hartwell, the ex-husband of former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Lisa Wu. Lisa and Ed's divorce was finalized in 2012, so he was single and ready to mingle by the time he started dating Keisha in 2015. However, during an episode of Hollywood Divas, Lisa made it clear that Ed and Keisha hooking up was a bit shady. Lisa said she and Keisha were cordial with one another, and she was the one who introduced them. She stated that Keisha and Ed were just industry friends at first, before things eventually turned romantic. Lisa indicated she found out through her then eight-year-old son she shared with Ed that he and Keisha were going to tie the knot. Lisa further stated, There's no hate going on, it's just the way I found out about it. Other than that, my son is happy, he likes her, and she's great to my son. Keisha and Ed weren't about to waste any time becoming husband and wife. A few weeks later, during an episode of her podcast, Keisha announced after getting engaged on New Year's Eve, after just four months of dating, they got married on New Year's Day in her living room. Ed joined Keisha on her podcast and stated, Both of our dreams came true that day. We have an amazing time together. On July 19, 2016, Keisha announced she was pregnant with a baby girl. 
But her announcement was quite awkward. Ed wasn't mentioned in her social media post, nor was he included in her photo. Sources told the YBF they noticed Ed and Keisha were constantly bickering, but no one expected Ed to file for divorce on July 25, 2016, just six days after Keisha announced her pregnancy. According to the YBF, even Keisha was blindsided by his decision. So what went wrong? A source told the website that Ed felt Keisha was too spoiled. And because he had a tendency to act impulsively, he decided to end things instead of putting in the effort to work it out. In an exclusive interview with Page Six, Ed stated their marriage began to fall apart almost immediately. He said their relationship was torn apart by jealousy, disagreements about starting a family, and suspicions about infidelity on both sides. Ed said Keisha was obsessed with having a baby. However, he told her that because they had such a short courtship, it was best for them to focus on each other first before bringing a baby into the picture. But Keisha wasn't having it. Less than a month after getting hitched, he sat Keisha down and told her, I think we probably messed up. I think we moved too fast. He thought their lives were headed in two different directions, and he also confessed that his ex, a woman named Tanya Carroll, whom he dated for four years after his divorce from Lisa, had lost a baby and it made him realize he still cared about her. Ed said Keisha wasn't upset he had feelings for his ex. She was more upset that he wasn't ready to have a baby. He stated Keisha told him, you don't want to have a baby, but you're mad about her baby. Ed mentioned Keisha also told him he was no longer allowed to talk to his ex's 13-year-old daughter. After their conversation, Ed said Keisha virtually disappeared. She went to visit a spiritualist and started going out with her friends all the time and not even coming home at times. For that reason, he questioned whether he was the baby's father or if her ex-boyfriend Big Tigger was her baby's daddy. The former NFL linebacker demanded a paternity test. He said, I can't say she's been unfaithful. I can say she stayed out. She's not came home. She's went out of town for three days. I don't know what's going on. Keisha sat with Entertainment Tonight to explain her side of the story. Did you cheat on him during your marriage? I have never cheated on him during my marriage. That's not who I am. She said she found out Ed had cheated on her during the marriage, so she started the process of ending their union. Once she found out she was pregnant, she decided to work on the marriage. She said Ed wanted more children, so he was excited to find out they were having a girl. However, at some point, he checked out of their relationship and filed for divorce without her knowledge. Keisha was ready to move forward and focus on her pregnancy, but she also had some words for Ed's ex-wife, Lisa. After hearing about the episode of Hollywood Divas in which Lisa implied she and Keisha were acquaintances and she was shady for dating Ed, Keisha said that her lawyers were involved and they would handle the damaging statements Lisa had made about her. Since Ed introduced the idea that Keisha could be pregnant by her ex-boyfriend, Big Tigger had to clear his name as well. He opened up on his radio show by saying, there is 0% chance that the child is mine. I could not have impregnated a female that I have not spoken to nor seen since our breakup. In January 2017, Keisha gave birth to Ella Hartwell. According to Page Six, Ed found out their daughter had been born through his lawyer. Less than a month later, he took a paternity test and found out he was the father. A long and drawn out divorce and child support battle ensued. Keisha presented to the court evidence that Ed had been cheating on her with his ex-girlfriend, Tanya Carroll. In March 2017, a woman named Damia Ward-Henley, who described herself as a mutual friend of Ed and Tanya's, said Ed started dating Tanya again while he was still married to Keisha. In court documents obtained by TMZ, Damia also said after Tanya found out Keisha was pregnant, she was very upset because she wanted Ed to leave her. Damia claimed Tanya told her she, quote, wanted to get something that would cause someone to have a miscarriage. Damia said she responded by telling Tanya and Ed to break off their adulterous relationship. Keisha also filed docs saying she had seen Ed take strong pain medication. She also presented evidence of Ed testifying in a court case with the NFL that he suffers from severe physical and mental problems due to his days of playing football. For those reasons, she believed he was unfit to take care of their daughter. During the divorce trial, Ed admitted he and Tanya had reconciled and she was pregnant with his child. In the end, he was ordered to pay $3,007 per month in child support to Keisha. 
As of this video, he reportedly has fallen behind on payments and now owes her close to $32,000. Ed reportedly married Tanya in 2019, and Keisha moved on as well. In October 2019, it was reported she was dating for better or worse actor Brad James, who was linked in the past to Chili from TLC. Keisha's relationship with Brad progressed while filming the TV movie Pride and Prejudice. During an Instagram Live session with Brad, Keisha said they hit it off right away and bonded while talking about their writing projects. Keisha said he asked her to look over a script he was working on, and she had a script she wanted his feedback on as well. He put his number, email, and his birthday in her phone, and after meeting up, things turned romantic. Finding harmony with each other has been a big deal for them since they've been previously married and both have children. Keisha said going through her rocky marriage and divorce helped her to clearly identify what she wants in a future partner, and Brad agrees. According to BET, Keisha and Brad made their debut at the grand opening of Tyler Perry Studios. Keisha posted a sweet photo of them standing on the platform in front of the Oprah Winfrey soundstage. We're happy to hear that Keisha's finally in a better place. She has had a permanent smile on her face ever since Brad came into her life. And we wish this beautiful couple nothing but the best. Let us know your thoughts on Keisha's dating history. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.